Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Techie Brains in this Sonar Cube series. In the previous video of the series, you have seen that what are the points which we are going to cover in this series and now in this video you will see that what is Sonar Cube. So guys, what is Sonar Cube? Sonar Cube is a code quality tool for writing a better code. It is basically used for writing a clean code for teams and enterprises. When the project is created by a team, so at, before sending it to the production, it is needed to ensure that if it is of good quality or not. And for that, some quality standards are set. So guys, whenever we work in a team, so there are some standards which are set for checking the quality of the code for every team member and we call those standards as code quality standards. So these code quality standards can be like checking duplicacy, it should be minimal, checking the security concerns, it can be like checking the coupling in the code. So there are a lot of things which are actually the important concerns to be checked and all these concerns can be called as the code quality standard and every team member is supposed to follow those code quality standards their code should meet all those code quality standards so sonar cube is the tool which is used to meet the high code quality standards okay you can use this sonar cube server to analyze your project if it is meeting the code quality standards or not then we have next as can analyze projects in 30 plus languages guys sonar cube is the tool which is not only used for java projects to analyze it can be used for many languages 30 plus languages and frameworks we have which can be analyzed onto the sonar cube server so you can check for the bugs you can check for the security vulnerabilities and many other things in different different languages on this sonar cube server then we have integration with devops platforms guys sonar cube is itself a, a devop right and uh, it provides easy integration with other devops platforms like git github GitLab, Azure, Bitbucket, all these. And in fact, it is available as a Jenkins plugin also to integrate SonarCube with the Jenkins CI CD pipeline. And the next thing is go or no go Sonar quality gate. Guys, a quality gate can be created with all the code quality standards which are supposed to be set for a project. What team lead can do? Team lead can create a quality gate and can set all the standards, code quality standards, which he wants all the team members to follow in their code. So when they have completed the code, their code can be checked onto the Sonar Cube server with this quality gate. If their code is passing this quality gate, so we can say that yes, this code is going through this quality gate, no go. If any of the standard is not met, if your code, if the team member's code is not meeting any code quality standards requirement, so it will be no go. So means Sonar Cube provides go or no go Sonar quality gate. So quality gate concept we have, there is a, an inbuilt quality gate also where basic code quality standards are set. If you want, you can create your custom quality gate also as per the project's requirement standards code quality standards can be set and if the code if the team members code is passing that gate or not that can be analyzed onto sonar cube server next we have super fast analysis sonar cube is the tool which will be analyzing your project in a super fast manner you will be getting a clean code matrix in minutes instead of hours so guys, this is all about this video. In this video, you have seen what is Sonar Cube and what are the important points which you need to be aware about in Sonar Cube. So guys, this is the part of Sonar Cube series. And in the next video, you will see how Sonar Lint is related to Sonar Cube. So guys, see you in the next video.